Hello everybody, I am Jarrett Ross, a genie vlogger, and welcome back to another Professional Genealogist Reacts. On today's video, I'll be reacting to I'm Not 100% Chinese by Mikey Chen. I'm a big fan of Mikey Chen. Um, I really am a big fan of his Simply Dumpling channel. Uh, I've watched a whole lot of his videos, especially because I'm a really big fan of going to like Hot Pot, Korean Barbecue, buffets. I mean, if you watch a lot of my older videos, you can tell I used to be a lot bigger. I've been losing some weight, but uh, yeah, I've always been a really big fan of his, so I'm really looking forward to this. The title is kind of giving it away. He's not 100% Chinese, which I'm sure that's what he originally thought. Um, you know, a lot of times when I do see Asian ancestry tests done, um, there will be more of an admixture than they really expected. Um, I have been watching a lot of Asian, um, well, I want to say Asian American. I watched the BuzzFeed Asian American video, but I've been watching a lot of videos of people with Asian ancestry doing these DNA tests. And a lot of time they do have a good mix, but not always. So I'm curious if it's going to just be like, you know, he's 90% Chinese and then, you know, a little bit of Japanese, maybe a little bit of Korean or Vietnamese or, you know, some somewhere else in Southeast Asia. Um, but I'm not sure we'll, uh, we'll have to see. So this video is from 2017, which is, you know, three years ago. So I know things have changed a lot since then. Uh, very curious which test he did, but my guess is it's going to be 23andMe because that's kind of the popular one among YouTubers. I think mostly because 23andMe sponsored a lot of these videos. So... Uh, before we jump into the video, though, uh, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. Also, be sure to subscribe and click that bell for notifications. But now that's been said, let's go ahead and watch the video. Hey, guys, I, I am so excited to be filming this video. I've been anticipating this video for almost exactly two and a half it's a pretty weeks. awesome shirt he has for this video i'm working with a really cool company called 23andme and they are a personal genetic service that was created to help people understand their ancestry genetic traits and unfortunately 23andme has been going away from being really uh, a really good test for people interested in genealogy they focus a lot more on their medical health by analyzing your DNA. And the name 23andMe comes from the fact that human DNA is categorized into 23 pairs of chromosomes. Now, the reason I'm so excited about this video is because of two things. One, I'm going to find out what, what my ancestry is. Now, I think I'm 100% Chinese. I, I believe so because my parents are Chinese, my grandparents are Chinese, their parents are Chinese. But the people at 23andMe, they told me that I might be surprised because I might be like a 1% like a something else or one eighth something else. I don't know. So... I'm curious to see what other blood is in here besides, you know, Chinese blood and hot oil. Also, what's really incredibly cool, and it's, I'm so excited about this, is that whatever I discover, wherever my ancestry is, 23andMe is going to send me there. So I'm going to travel there. So maybe I'm like, oh, I that's know, pretty cool. Japanese or something. They'll send me to Japan to reconnect with my roots, reconnect with my with the culture I didn't know I was a part of. And what you do is, well, you might not want to look at this, but I spit into this kit, and it's a lot of spit. Yeah, he's not going like to do a, a spit take. Like That's good. On. <laughs> That's with fine a, with me. Q-tip, but it's a lot of spit. Then I sent the spit back. This is the first time in my life I've ever sent spit in the mail. I sent the spit back to them for uh, for analysis. And my guess, well, I, I was going to say my guess is that's probably the truth for most people, unless you lick your stamps or lick your envelopes, then you're technically sending your spit in the mail just not that much as you would for one of these tests two and a half weeks later uh this report came this morning today and so what i see here is that i got five ancestry reports i have four reports on genetic health risk 22 um, reports on maybe shrinks, he'll talk about matches wellness and i don't know what dna relatives are so I'm your relatives only, in that as only well. 78 an found DNA relatives compares my DNA with other 23andMe customers and, and see if I'm related to anybody. Yo, if you guys should really do this and see if you're related. But I'm going to start on that right now. Wow, this is crazy. You see here, it says, DNA relatives, please know that you may discover unexpected information in DNA relatives. Though on common, unexpected relationship may be identified that could affect you or your family. This is sort of like if I find out that me and my girlfriend are related, I think I'm okay. So let's. Or if you found out that your mother's father wasn't really your mother's father father or that your own father wasn't your father or maybe that your parents had a child before you were born and they had them adopted or there's all sorts of craziness that people can find in these tests let's just go ahead and, and do this no what i'm only 
Really? 82.7. 82 Look at okay. me. I have always wondered because a lot of times when I travel or I meet people that, that don't know me, they ask if I'm like Thai or Mongolian because I, I don't really look Chinese. I don't know. I'm more tan. Okay, I, I, this, is, this is really crazy. I'm 82.7% Chinese. This is really surprising because I thought at most I'd be like, you know, maybe 1% something else combined. I, I would be 99% Chinese, but... But is it broadly Asian? It could be that broadly is, Asian. I'm, I'm almost a quarter something else. Okay, clicking on the ancestry composition. No bloody way. I'm part European? What? I'm okay. Very, very trace amount. 0.5% European. Did like Alexander the Great it, it, like marry my great, 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 great grandmother or something? This is this is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, of my 0.5% European heritage. I'm less than one percent Southern European, uh, which means I'm from less my than ancestors. Point long, one long time percent. Ago, we're from Italy. So is that why I love pasta so much? Less than point one percent Jewish. I am broadly European. Point four percent broadly European. No wonder I, I could do a perfect British accent. Although my I wonder what his reads are like now. I wonder if he ever did an update video. I, I always look to see if anyone does update videos, but mostly no one really does. Friends disagree. Wow, I'm 0.5% European. I'm 0% South Asian. I'm 99.1% East Asian and Native American. So th this is a big breakdown right here. This is the part that really surprised me. I'm 82.7% Chinese. I'm 8%, 8.4% Korean? No, Okay, that makes sense. I mean, nothing against Koreans, but really? That makes well, sense. I mean, I love kimchi and I love Korean barbecue. Is the other I'm part Japanese? I'm Korean. Wow, that is really surprising. Okay, I Japanese or broadly? I, I, I figure if I was other type of Asian, I would be Mongolian because I feel like, I don't know, I oh, feel okay. very Mongolian-esque. Like, I, I love... Interesting. Is Mo I guess Mongolian is one like of their... Uh... Like Mongolian. Okay, so there is I some Japanese. Mongolian. And then broadly so East. I'm almost 1% Mongolian. I'm less than 0.1% Japanese. But wow, I, I cannot believe I'm a lot Korean. Wow, okay. And I am less than 0.1% Native American. I don't know why because I think my... It's a misread between Native American and Asian, so it's probably them just reading your Asian as Native American. And that's why I'm curious about the updates, because a lot of these trace results may be gone, or they may have been amplified. They may have figured out that some of that broadly East Asian was actually more of the Korean, or more of the Japanese, or even more of the Mongolian. Um, so it could, could be all over the place. Parents were the first ones to, to make the, the voyage over the oceans. So does that I mean they're flying them out to Korea? 0.1% Middle Eastern, North African. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I can see that. And 0.3% is on a sign. Do I look Korean? I mean, I watch a lot of K-dramas. I make fun of how the guys look sometimes, but I, I never thought I looked like that. Is there some Korean features? I, I don't know. I guess now I can choose. I can travel to any of these countries and explore the culture. I, I didn't feel oh, like he gets I was to a choose. Of, But now I am. I mean, I got to narrow it down to, I mean, China, I've been there. I identify a a lot with the Chinese culture. So is he going to go to Mongolia? Just matches besides Chinese is Korean and Mongolian. So I guess I'm either going to Korea or Mongolia. All right. I, I think I would really want to go to Mongolia. I would really love to go to Mongolia. Never been to Mongolia. I'm going to Mongolia. If not, I'm going back to Korea as a Korean, sort of. So I'll let you guys know. So make sure you watch the next video because the next video you see. I'm gonna be traveling and I'll, All right, I'll have to look for exactly that. where I'm traveling to, but wow, I'm shocked. Trace, I'm gonna look at my sense of taste and smell. So it says here, your genes may help to explain why you can smell certain things that other people can't, why you prefer certain tastes over other people, get a flavor of your DNA. It says, I do prefer salty, which is true. It doesn't say anything about spicy. Let's go to facial features, cleft chin. I don't think I had that. Cheek dimple, I don't have that. Unibrow, don't have that. It says I have dark brown eyes, that's true. They also tell you your ear wax type which didn't know there was a type of ear wax. Physical response. Folding sneeze. Michael, you're not likely to sneeze when suddenly exposed to bright sunlight. Wow. Did not know uh, that's information I, I did not even know about myself, but thank you for that. Okay, wellness. It says that I'm likely to have a alcohol flush reaction. I don't drink, so I, I guess I don't know. Caffeine consumption, it says I'm likely to consume less, which is true. I don't drink caffeine almost at all. Likely to be a deep sleeper? Yeah. 
I'm a pretty deep sleeper, but also I wake up um, really easily. Muscle composition, common in elite power athletes. Thank you, 23andMe, I concur. Now that we determined my physical characteristics and where my ancestors are from, I'm gonna now find out there are people related to me yes. in this database. And right now, it's showing that I have 78 DNA relatives. 78 people so related small to one. me. Let's see about how much. Locate your DNA relatives. Sure, let's do world map. Okay, they're... Most of my relatives are are in the United States. But let's get back to the more important thing. I'm 8.4% uh, Korean and I'm 0.8%. I disagree. I think the relatives is more important, but this is the easier sell the admixture. Person Mongolian. So, uh, like, I, like I mentioned before, my, I'm either going to Korea or Mongolia. And it looks like right now I'm choosing Mongolia. I've never been, been there before. I'm so excited about it. Um, so, I, I guess I'm going to go pack my bags because I'm going. Like, in a few days. Guys, do this. This is really, really interesting. All right. I guess I'll see you in either Mongolia or Korea. Bye, guys. All right. That, that was a pretty good video. Um, it was kind of what I was expecting for him in that he had – well, obviously, the, it said I'm not 100% Chinese for the title, but – uh, you know, the last one that I watched was BuzzFeed Asian Americans and pretty much every time someone said, oh, well, I'm Chinese or I'm half Chinese, it would be pretty dead on. Whereas this time, you know, he was only 80 something percent and he had a big chunk that was Korean. He had a decent amount of Mongolian, then some trace results, Japanese, and then of course a big chunk of broadly East Asian. Um, as always, I'm always curious. I wonder what the updated results are. Uh, this was from July 2017, so the updated results have probably changed a whole whole lot. And it's the trace results and the broadly East Asian and some of that unassigned that makes me curious if it's still there. Especially like when you get something like European, or I think he he had North African or Middle Eastern. Um, I can't remember exactly. I think it, well, I think it, it's North African and Middle Eastern, but um, I, I think he had a very small trace amount. So I wonder if those are still there or if those have disappeared, um, because a lot of times when you're when you're deciphering between the continents, it's usually fairly easy to figure out. So if someone has African ancestry versus European ancestry versus Asian ancestry. It's usually easy to tell those apart. Um, but that doesn't mean that there couldn't be errors there, you know, misreads or anything, you know, artifacts that could be causing that issue. Um, it's pretty cool that he got to do this and then they f are going to fly him out wherever he uh, wanted to check out. I'll have to see that video. Um, I'll probably try to react to it in hopes that he has something to do with ancestry in it. Maybe they have a mean uh, relative. Um, but speaking of relatives, I am very, very sad in that he like just started to get into the relatives part and then just stopped, just like abrupt. I was just, I was really hoping that he would talk a little bit more about it. I mean, not necessarily having to show names and stuff, but you know, uh, least showing you know how close some of the relatives are i mean he gave a general overview which i think he had 78 matches 73 of which were distant which would mean that they were you know probably like fourth cousins fifth cousins or you know probably sharing like 50 centimorgans or less but then he had five intermediate relatives i think they defined it as which could be you know second cousins, third cousins, maybe fourth cousins, but it'd be interesting for me to see, you know, the percentages and stuff like that. But I, I guess he just wasn't really as interested in something like that as a genealogist would be. Well, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can also click right about here. If you'd like to subscribe, it's completely free to do so. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at genie vlogger. I'm the genie vlogger. See you in my next video.